Hey guys, Nui here, back again with uh, another uh, build theory video, setting up, heading into the 3.0 patch. Um, once again, this is going to be one of my starter, uh, this is one of my potential starter builds, so that is why I'm uh, working so hard on, or uh, that is why I'm making sure to get this out before the patch hits. Um, but uh, this this is my Templar Raomuku build. Um, now this build is focused on, as its name suggests, uh, it is focused on the skill Shockwave Totem. And, oh, I didn't put the ascendancy here, hold on, yes. Uh, got that, got this, got this, and got this. Okay, so, um, yeah, this build is focused on Shockwave Totem damage as well as um, using my mana and large extra mana pool as an extra defensive technique and and um I'll, it's also got a huge amount of crit uh the way i set this up um i wanted to set this up basically so that uh it's got a large amount of crit for my totems because i will not be attacking myself i'll be f solely focused on my totems damage so my two shockwave totems will be my main source of damage and then I'm using staffs um, because I wanted the extra global critical chance from just wielding staffs. Uh, also it allows me to six link so um, I could six link a couple different things and make sure that I do more spell damage off of that. Um, in total this build has about 300 something total, 300 percent total damage or something just from uh, totem and spell damage. Combined, and then I have extra area area damage and some others, um, some other damage from uh, a couple other sources. But I'm definitely it's definitely heavily focused on um, heavy heavy crit and shockwave totems overall damage, um, as well as spell damage. So uh, when I first set this build up, I wasn't really sure how a hierophant worked. Um, so um, I really tried to look into this skill in particular, which is Sanctuary of Thought. So I get 30% of my maximum mana as extra maximum energy shield. Um, I know energy shield just got nerfed a little bit in, in uh, after, especially because I just read the patch notes that they released. So I definitely wanted to make sure that, um, I have enough energy shield, but I also have armor and health in the back of that. So I shouldn't really have too much of a difficulty. Also, I'm not really... The main focus of my damage i'm more about setting up my totems and letting them deal damage so i'm not too too worried about having a ridiculous health pool or having a ridiculous um energy shield pool because i feel like my totems will be the my totem once i set up my totems i won't really need to focus as much on my um on actually de dealing damage i just can just kind of move around and avoid damage and then let my totems do all the damage i need so um that way I didn't focus too too heavily on defenses even though I like I do have a significant amount of defenses um I have 178% increased maximum mana and 100% increase uh, mana regenerate I also am taking 270 extra mana and stuff from that and 74% 74% reduced mana cost of skills so none of my totems really cost a lot of damage uh none of my auras or anything should take up too much of my um mana pool and i should be able to just do what i want and really get out all as much damage as i want um i took four jewel sockets in this build so i can grab extra area damage or extra physical damage or extra spell damage all of which apply to shockwave totem so i really have a large range of uh ways that i can set this build up um i actually balanced out my stats pretty well so i have 233 intelligence from the tree and 163 strength so i shouldn't have too too much difficulty uh running really anything i wanted i do have a bit of lower end dexterity so i'll probably be um i'll probably be looking into like uh i'll probably just grab a whole bunch of dexterity um i'll probably just grab it like a dexterity necklace or something like that to uh augment that because i probably will need about probably about a hundred something dexterity so i could probably just grab it off the necklace or uh get it off a couple piece of gear or i might get lucky with a drop um like i did in the legacy patch and i got a extra hundred stat necklace to everything so that was great um but yeah this is the build i'm really looking at uh this is just the main tree here but i'm also going to head over to path of building now and show you guys the, the tooltip there 
to let you guys see all of uh, all the things I'm working with in terms of that. So heading over to uh, the build tree here, um, as you can see, I do ended up needing like 98 dexterity or so. So I definitely will have to grab that from the tree. And I was playing around with a couple unique items and just uh, looking into a couple things and then playing around with a couple um, setups and possible setups for skills and just a couple possible items to grab, like things like this. Um, so I'm just looking into stuff like that, uh, but basically the tree, the tree is very, the damage of Shockwave Totem can be very high and I feel like the more crit I have behind it, the higher that actual hit will be, especially if I run something like, uh, Concentrated Effect or something like that so I get the extra damage. Um, I will be grabbing, because I have the extra area effect from these passive nodes, I don't feel like that reduction of area will be so bad on me because I will have uh what is that 16 24 32 percent increased area and conch effect does what 30 percent reduced area effect so i feel like i'll still have the two percent extra bonus so i'll basically do the same amount of damage in the same area um the real if i look if i really think about weaknesses when i look at this build um Again, my defenses in terms of my health pools and stuff are somewhat low. I'm only getting 68% increased life from my tree. I typically like to be up around 90, um, even higher than 100 on some builds, depending on what I'm doing. Uh, I don't really know the set amount of extra health you're supposed to take from a tree or anything like that, or extra defenses you want to take from a tree. Uh, but I really, from just basically from my experience, which is, again, I've the max, uh, the highest... Um, map I made it to on the Legacy League was uh, Tier 6 before the League ended, so um, I don't really know how bad it gets towards like higher level maps or anything like that, and how much extra health and stuff I need to focus on. Again, that is why I'm going to be so focused on focusing on a, a one or two major builds into this patch, and really getting them to uh, end, gear, end game content, end game gear, and stuff like that, so I can really focus more onto uh, newer characters um, in terms of how I want my build theories to work out and I might have to tweak things and then add in extra um, add in extra health nodes or extra defense nodes stuff like that um, but really okay sorry guys had a little app Apple update pop up um but uh, I am taking 68% increased life from this tree I'm grabbing 111% uh, increased energy shield and uh, 131% increased armor. So if I run armor, energy shield, gear, I don't feel like I'll be in too, too bad of shape. Um, I also am running extra power charges. Uh, and then when I head over to my Hierophant tree, I'm also grabbing the chance to grab power charges just from when my um, totems kill stuff. As well as uh, just extra um, cast speed and attack speed with totems and stuff like that. I debated on running Ritual, Ritual of Awakening so I could have four totems uh, in total, or is that three totems? It's three totems, I think. But um, I didn't really want to take the damage nerf, and I don't feel like I need the extra to the extra totem as much because I already have the totem is, itself. So I didn't feel like it was a huge, huge um, debate. I also thought about running Illuminated Devi uh, Devotion because of the forty percent increased area effect, but that's from gloves, and I'm probably. Actually, I'm definitely going to be running my totem off of like my either my chest plate or my um, my uh, staff itself, so that I will get the possible six links and five links and stuff like that. So that's a little bit higher than um, it's a little bit more important than running this. So I decided to just not run that at all, and then I just ran down here and grabbed the extra energy shield for my mana. So. The more mana I get, the more energy shield I get, and stuff like that. Um, so I feel like I'll be fine. I am getting extra. And this is one of the few builds I've actually made where I get chaos resistance without getting um, without getting CI. So um, it's a little bit different for me because I typically don't really focus on chaos resistance or anything like that. Um, I know a lot, very few um, bosses or exiles that I've seen so far really do chaos damage. I've run into a couple and they've killed me. <laughs> Embarrassingly, in the, uh, embarrassingly enough, because I one, I wasn't really sure why I couldn't stop the damage, and two, I had pretty much no chaos resistance, so I pretty much got fucked. Um, but 
Uh, so taking that into account, I did uh, grab some extra chaos resistance and extra stuff from this tree so that um, when my chaos, when chaos damage goes through my spell shield, I'll still have one, the health pool, and two, and two, I'll, I'll get the reduced chaos damage taken. So I'm really focused on that. Um, I have decent, I have decent uh, all res. Um, I took this node specifically for the all res. Um, I know there's a little bit elemental damage from it, so if I run something like Herald of Ash or um, even Wrath or something like that, or well, no, mostly Herald of Ash and Wrath, yeah, basically those. Uh, those are probably what I'm going to be running. Um, when I run those two, I'll still get a little bit of boost, but I'm not really focused on my elemental damage as much. I'm more focused on spell damage and shockwave totem and... So I'm not really leaning heavily into any type of elemental damage or any specific element. I'm really focused on he heavy, heavy crit rate and uh, crit multiplier and also um, a lot of lot of spell damage. So this is my uh, um, Rao Muka build. Uh, so uh, be sure to leave your thoughts or comments or anything below or any tips you guys could provide uh, as always in my uh, comment section below. Um, but this is also, this is again, this is the second of the three possible starter builds that I've been looking into. So I'm not, again, I'm still not quite sure what I'm looking, what I'm going to be doing as far as starter. And you guys, again, will have to wait until next Monday to find out which build I actually did and which build I actually just settled on um, using overall. But um, I don't think I have anything else to cover as far as this build. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you all later. New yet.